philosophy of life. The topic is cell division. So first of all, we should know the definition of this cell division. The process by which a mature mother cell divides and duplicates into the two daughter cell is known as cell division. So the increase in the number of the cell by the process of cell division is known as hyperplasia. Is known as hyperplasia. The process by which the increase in the number of cell takes place by the process of cell division is known as hyperplasia. Now this cell division is being categorized under three different types. So the type of cell division can be of your three types. The first one is amyotosis. The second one is our mitosis and the third so after what we will describe each and individual definition of all these types of cell. Before going to the definition, we should know the another topic that is our cell cycle. So what do you mean by the word cell cycle? It is the cyclic event where each and every cell enters. It will grow. It will get matures and ready to give rise to the two daughter cell is known as cell cycle. The entire cell cycle is being divided into two major phases. The first phase is your non-dividing phase followed by dividing phase. This non-dividing of the cell cycle is known as interphase and the dividing phase of the cell cycle is known as in phase or mitotic phase. This interphase is further subdivided into three short phases which is known as G1 followed by S and after 2 we have G2. So this G1 stands for gap 1 phase. Gap 1 phase is followed by synthetic phase and after the completion of the synthetic phase we have G2 phase that is your gap 2 phase. Now, if you represent the entire cell cycle by representing a pie chart then you will have this one as your G1 this is your S and this is G2 phase. So from here up to this part is our interface. After completion of this G2, the next phase is our M phase. This M phase is known as mitotic phase, which is again into two parts that is karyokinesis and cytokinesis. This karyokinesis is nothing but the nuclear division where you will have prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. So we can show Metaphase, anaphase, and this one is our telophase. After the telophase, we have cytokinesis. We have cytokinesis. Now, in the true sense, this cytokinesis is not the part of your M phase, but without cytokinesis, the M phase is incomplete for a cell to divide into the two daughter cell. Now, next we should know that what happens during the cell when it enters 
The second type of cell division is known as mitosis. So mitosis is also known as somatic cell division. It can be also known as indirect cell division. It is also known as equational cell division. So come to the features of your mitosis. So why mitosis is known as somatic cell division? Because mitosis takes place in somatic cell of the body. Why mitosis is known as indirect cell division? Because here the spindle fiber formation takes place that leads to the separation of two sister chromatids. Why is it known as equational cell division? Mitosis is known as equational cell division because here the number of the chromosome remain equal or the number of the chromosome remain same compared to the parental cell. The mitosis is being divided into two phases that we have already discussed during our cell cycle. First is karyokinesis, followed by karyo means nucleus. Karyo means nucleus and kinesis means
This is the early prophase. When the process continues, the nuclear membrane starts disappearing. The nucleolus starts disappearing and we have the chromosome structure. You have the formation of You can have the formation of spindle fiber. Now, the prophase ends like this type of figure. So, you can even level over here asters. So, these asters are formed from the cytoplasm. Spindle fiber is formed from the nuclear material.
is formed of spindle fiber made up of tubular protein. So spindle is the diamond shaped structure that formed during the metaphase. Spindle is formed of spindle fiber that is inter made up of tubuli protein. The two poles of this spindle is known as poles or you can say the two ends of this spindle is known as pole and the central part is known as equatorial plate or the metaphasic plate. During the metaphase, the orientation of the chromosome takes place but there is one difference between the animal cell and plant cell. In case of your plant cell, the orientation of the chromosome along this metaphasic plate is random. But in case of animal cell, the orientation is something different. The larger chromosome will be placed at the periphery of this metaphasic plate whereas the smaller chromosome will be placed centered to this metaphasic plate.